What's up guys? Today I'm gonna do a good video for you guys. A little upgrade to the YZ250X. So, as you know, I've had the YZ250X for a little over two months now or something like that. I don't remember, but I think it's been a couple months and, uh, you know, ever since I got it, I've had like, um, just, the jetting is good, but it's not like good, good. You know what I mean? It's the stock jetting and I've been reading reviews and I got something in the mail today and I think you guys are going to want to see it. And we're going to do a uh, little install and review of the JD Jetting Kit for the 250X. So let's quit yapping and get right to it. So I wanted to do a uh, sound test of how it sounds before I install the jetting kit. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm committed to the content. So smash that like button. Let's see what it sounds like. It's a cold start too, so anyways, let's get this jet hit on. We're gonna be focusing on the carburetor, obviously. I'm gonna loosen this air boot and the other side. Okay, we're gonna take the uh, the top off first with the slide and everything. We're gonna do the needle first. Make sure you do not strip these bolts. It's good to get new ones too. They don't have to be super tight when you go back to tighten them. Actually, they're just screws, not bolts. All right. That one's a little boogered up already. That'll be fun. All right, so now the slide's out. That's where your needle is. So, uh, I'm gonna go get the JD Jet Kit. way to get this out is uh just take the spring off manually like uncoil it like you're putting a key ring like you're taking a key ring off of your car keys like this look it'll come off all at once you don't have to it won't shoot out or anything just keep spinning it and spinning it coming off until it gets down to the bottom and you can take the wire out easy didn't it shoot nothing perfect all right now we're gonna take an eight millimeter and get this out I bet stick that's like a six or a seven that bolt is really tiny all right it's such a weird size it's a six millimeter socket, okay? And be very careful with this lock nut. It's, you don't wanna over torque it. You just need to spin it a little bit. I have stripped one of these, so I do have an extra one. All right. Uh. Guys, forgive me if the camera wobbles. We gotta get a different tripod. Um, so this kit makes it very easy to do everything. And we're gonna be changing all the jets. And it gives you this chart right here. Definitely worth it, this kit was 80 bucks. I think I'm gonna get one for my 125 too if I really like it. Okay, so the needle is gonna be the red needle. And it's gonna be at clip position three and 172 main. They give you an extra clip. I'm gonna keep that in there, new. I see the difference in the needles. Look. Look 
like way more tapered. But uh, I'm gonna use it on the third clip. It's kind of hard to see that, but uh, I'll put this clip on. So the easiest way for the so the clip won't run away, just push down. It'll come off. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on the third one. Do the same thing, push down. You have to be very meticulous with this part, but that's the only like real fishy part. Okay, that's on the third clip right there. Hold it in place, and there it is. You hear that snap? That's on the third clip right in the direct middle. We're gonna put this in here. All right. And tighten it down. Go get my stuff. And now we're gonna use the 172 main and the 45 pilot. It only comes with one pilot, so that's good. It's leaner, so I need. All right. All right. I got the 172 pilot or main and the uh, 45 pilot set to the side. Now we're just going to put this clip in here in the notch. And pull on it so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, now you're just going to do the exact same thing you did to take it off. You're going to thread it on. Which won't be a big deal. Now we're gonna take that. There's a nut right there on the bottom. We're gonna take that off. See if I'm right. It looks like a 17. Yep. And the gas is gonna come out, so uh, let it kind of drip so you don't get it all over the place. Well, you kind of can't avoid it, so just don't get it all over your hands. And this is going to give you direct access to the jets, the main jet and the pilot. And the pilot's also a six. I mean, the main jet is also a six. And the pilot is a flathead. Alright, taking the main jet out. And we'll see what size he's got in here. I have no idea, honestly. Never done this on this bike. Alright. Wow. The main jet's a 178. Real rich. Old as heck too. Fresh JD Jets. And you just want to do it hand tight. Don't torque these things down. You don't this carburetor is not like a freaking lug nut, you know? So be easy on it. Nice, nice and snug. That's all you need. No more than that. And then you get your pilot. Let's see where it is. You gotta kind of get down there and look for that one. And you need a real small screwdriver. Uh, it's gonna be a flathead, a real thin one. We got a 72, um, a 172 main. We got a 40 pilot or 45 pilot, and then we got that new needle, the JD. Every jet is new, and then I actually have a power jet on the way, but I'm just gonna fire this up, see how it does before that comes in. Need be, I'll do the power jet too. Gonna go ahead and put a new plug, and these are the plugs. Uh, BR8EG, stock YZ250, and 250X plugs. Guys, I don't know if you can see that. I was running so dang rich, dude. This thing is just black. So I put a fresh plug in. I had to put the tank on. Everything's plugged in, except I'm gonna put this plug in. And, uh, we're about to rock and roll. All right, let's see if it's the first kick bike. Gas is on.
if I have to adjust the idle or anything, but dude, I didn't even have the choke on. It kicked over right away. 